Good morning. Hey y'all, hey, it's Kier Marche. And I am on my way to school. I'm leaving out a little bit later. I know this is gonna happen as the semester went on. I was getting there super early at first and it's like, the more the time that goes by. I feel like actually getting dressed today though. Like I've been going to school in like leggings and stuff, which is cool, but I just felt like um, putting actual clothes on today, so I did put on this hoodie. I wanted to wear my skinny jeans today, y'all. I am not ready to let skinny jeans go. Probably never gonna do it. That's so crazy. I'm that old lady that's not ever gonna let the old trends go. <laughs> but skinny jeans, like, no. That was like a whole big part of my growing up from teenage years until recent. Like, when did skinny jeans go out of style? Like, <laughs> whatever, but anyway. And I just wanted to wear my boots for real. I wanted to wear my black little combat boots that I got from Just Fab like three or four years ago. Well, that was probably like four or five years ago, actually. I'm tired of buying new stuff. Like, I'm just tired of replacing stuff that I already have. It's like, I already have these pair of boots that I actually like. Why do I gotta get new boots? <sighs> I'm just not doing it. Like, the few outfits that I put together, it'd be the same look. So it's like, girl, you don't gotta keep buying new stuff. And I'm not going to. I went driving yesterday and it was cool. My last drive or pickups, man, that was like a domestic violence situation. I wasn't really feeling that. I almost didn't even want to pull off with them because she was kind of like cussing him out before they even got in my car. And I'm just like, oh, I do not want to be in the middle of this. But luckily they were well behaved in my car. They didn't do nothing crazy. I dropped her off at work and then dropped him off at work. But it was like early morning and y'all already arguing and smelling like stale weed. And it's just like, <sighs> this can't be live. I'm so chill today. I got an exam this morning and I have an evaluation later today. And I'm very prepared, not worried whatsoever because I've been killing this. I've been killing it lately. I got 90% or above on my last two evals. I'm going for three feet tonight. Yeah, 90 and above. But I feel really good. And after going to sit down with Felicia, like she just validated what I was doing because you know, it's like I'm doing it, but we don't, we are in a the clinic. There's maybe like six or seven instructors there with us, but we don't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. You just don't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. We got three hours of clinic. You probably get a good five to 10 minutes per person, if that, you know? And it's like, when they come, it's like, it's so rushed. You gotta know what you need already. It's like, damn, I just want you to spend some time with me. Just sit here, watch me. So with Felicia just watching me, like that made me feel so much better. She was telling me like, you got this. And like little things she would tweak or she would show me. And it's just like, it would, it clicked more for me. Like, okay, she had showed me, I would do it. And then it's another thing. People will show you how to do something and you, we're not the same person. I don't have the same hands as you. I don't have the same wrist or any of that. So it may not feel as good in my hands as it does in yours, especially the first couple times. So I have to practice it. But eventually I will adapt and come up with my own way of doing literally what you just told me to do. So that's another thing about teaching too. You can't expect the person who's learning to do it the exact way that you're, you're teaching because it does not register like that in their minds. You know, like, have patience give people some grace today i think we're working on um blood pressures i brought my blood pressure cuff and my spiggle spiggle mono my, i don't know how to say that word spiggle manometer maybe i don't know we are being evaluated on the gracie one two today i feel real good about the gracie one two it's just those lower interiors the lingual sometimes i feel like i can't see so <clears throat> excuse me i'm just gonna have my patient turn her head because I, I don't know how I was trying to do it but I'm gonna try to see if I can see better with her turning her head like you know because you got to be elevated a little bit chin down but I'm having like turn a little bit so I can actually see I've been killing school y'all like I really been doing this school stuff in week number nine hygiene school y'all I'm still smiling my still skin still glowing my hair ain't falling out yet I'm not dead broke I'm doing pretty decent right now I'm not hungry I'm not starving I know this is just the beginning. I feel pretty good. It's the first day of my period. I'm not crying. I'm not, you know, anxious or any of that. I'm just chilling. I'm really trying to, um, this period, you know, last month, my period was really, really hard on me. Um, I had a whew, really bad endometriosis flare because 
if that's what it be doing, it be flaring, baby. It be flaring on up on me. And I feel like a lot of it was, um, well, some of it was self-induced because I was stressing about school when I didn't even have a reason to stress about school. Um, it was more so me taking on other people's anxiety and stress. And it's like, girl, no, we cannot do that. So I just been, you know, y'all see what I've been doing. Facials, um, massages. I've been sitting in that massage chair. It's already October 17th, thank goodness. School is less than, we got less than two months left. Woo -hoo, for the semester. School is really just a game. You just gotta learn how to play the game by the rules. They give you the rules. Like, I'm doing pretty good. I still got all A's. My one class is over. Got an A and out. Boom. Three more trying to keep these A's, baby. Keep these A's. And y'all know an A is 93% and more. Honestly, it don't even fucking matter at this point. Like, I can get B's for real. But me being me, who? So, yeah. But, but I'm not going to stress over it, you know? But like I said, it's already week nine. I still got all A's. I'm doing pretty good. But that's one of the reasons why y'all haven't been seeing for me, y'all. Because seeing here for me y'all school is really a business and it's like I have four classes so pretty much you just have to learn how to do those four classes you know how to work that stuff and you got to start from the beginning and I chose not to procrastinate because procrastination and I did not procrastinate I'm proud of myself because I did my big one from the beginning y'all I used to be a major procrastinator and here we are in week nine and I feel like I got this shit in the bag like it's real easy for me now and it's because I worked from the beginning now let me would have started now or slack the first eight weeks and then start picking it up now it would be very hard on me like I will be stressing doing so many different things like you know playing catch up and it's like no I don't gotta do that because I made it easy for myself and part of that is not having to work as much like I've been able to focus on school for him I've been killing this school shit um school is important making sure my bills pay is important Make sure my home, my head is clean. My home is clean. Like those things are important to me right now. Y'all know I'm not even a social media girly anyway. I've been trying to stay afloat, but social media be the last thing in my mind for real when there's money on the flow. <laughs> People just say that. Hey y'all, I'm back. I did not get a 90% on my exam. I got an 88. I don't know about y'all, but I'd rather have gotten a 78 than an 88. Like, I hate when that happens when I'm this close to getting a grade that I wanted to get and it's literally like one question. And it's so crazy because I went back and changed and answered. And I know better than that. I literally know better than that. And I did it anyway. So that's what you get, Key. That's exactly what you get. Now the other three that I got wrong, I legit got those wrong because I just didn't know. But one of the questions I changed the answer and I knew the answer was right and I changed it anyway. And now here I am telling y'all how I got an 88 instead of a 91% that I wanted to get. I'm about to practice on my type of a little bit, take me a nap, and then that's pretty much it. Well, I was starting to cramp a little bit in class and that has me scared. So I'm gonna try to do my eval first today. I want to be in clinic by we don't start clinic until two o'clock but um we have to have everything set up everything ready by 150 because we have to check in at 150 and we can't get into our lockers until 115 because second year they are in there until then so lately I've just been changing my clothes in my car because that locker get crazy they're supposed to be out and let us in by 115 but it'd be more like 120 because they'd be trying to get all their stuff together first of all it's just crazy how we spent all this money on this program and they got 36 women in one little bitty old locker room it's just it's ridiculous and then I just need to go into my locker to get to get my shoes because that's the only thing that's in my locker my eval sheet for today the gracie one two we getting through these instruments y'all hey y'all i'm back it is much later in the day it's 7 p.m and we just got our emails well i didn't feel good with that eval first of all 
the instructor I had is known to gray hard for one. Secondly, are you talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you, sweetheart. Don't need you also? Yeah. Damn. So yeah, um, I felt my eval. I felt my first eval. Like legit failed. Not just have to redo it, but failed it. And that's crazy. But yeah, I definitely just cried about it. Um, I think I'm good on the tears for now. So I also came with my period earlier, so that'll make it no better. Y'all, I don't know. I didn't feel good. I really felt so good about the Gracie one too. Like I did not feel like it was that hard, but them lingles, mandibular mm. I didn't stand a chance. Hey. Yes. You cry for everything. What, what, what's one thing you don't care about? Don't attack my character. I failed my eval. Definitely just cried it out. Um, but you know what? You win some and you lose some. I'm just like still on a high from the last one. That I really wanted to do well on this one. Like, oh, it's so crazy. Hygiene school and something else. Last week I did great. I had a test. And two evals passed the test with an A. Both the evals passed those. Got 100% on the eval. Two evals, but one of them was just a skill. I think it was um, intro oral camera. Passed that, obviously. And on my Gracie 1314, passed that with 100%, y'all. 100%. Although I'm upset about having to repeat it, I'm also happy because I have to go in and remediate first. So the way they do it is you have to do remediation and then repeat so which is great because i don't feel like we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time in the clinic anyway like it's only so many instructors there's so many students per instructor like they don't have time to sit there with you for 20 minutes to talk about 20 30 minutes to talk about what you're doing wrong or help you correct it like you show me something one time and then i repeat it do it while you're in front of me guess what we're gonna end up doing i'm going to relapse i'm gonna fuck up and start doing it the wrong way again and i'm gonna keep practicing that way but if you sit down with me while i'm doing it over and over again you're gonna catch me every time i mess up and each time i do it i'm gonna see something different hopefully you know what i gotta look at it on the bright side this is the ninth week and i literally it took me nine weeks to fail she did okay so scratch that my test this morning i ended up with an 88 percent, and i was like damn you were so close blah, blah, blah. well she just added a point to my test too and yeah your girl got a 91 on that okay we gotta take the small we gotta take the wins with the losses at least i got a 91 percent on my test this morning yes i filled my evaluation <sighs> But you know what? It is what it is. We got one, two, three, four more instruments, y'all. <sighs> I'm done with the crying. <laughs> but I didn't feel good, though. Y'all, my period throw me off every time. Like, a month ago when we did that perio probe um, evaluation, I had just come with my period as well. And I got an 83% on it. I didn't feel great about it. I cried a little bit. But... I didn't have to repeat it, shockingly. Um, and then today, and I got another eval this week, and day three, I don't know, because last month was tough for me on the period. So I'm trying to stay chill so I don't have another flare up like that. I be practicing my ass off, y'all, but it just goes to show you, like they said, everybody's gonna have their day. Everybody gonna have their day. But anyway, like I was saying, I guess it's a good thing because now I get to go to remediation and I hear such a chill vibe. Everybody gonna have their day. You know, today just happens to be mine. Hey, it's Key. I do not feel good today. Oh my goodness, look at my hair. Oh my goodness, where did this hair come from on my head like this? But. I don't feel good today. I'm on my period. Um, day two is really always the worst for me. So I'm kind of taking it easy. 
but my neck has still been bothering me my neck been bothering me for a couple months i've been saying that i need to go to the chiropractor and today is the day that i just decided i need to get up and go i just feel so tense um and yesterday when i did my evaluation my instructor she mentioned how tense i was and um, i have another evaluation tomorrow y'all know i felt the one yesterday so i'm like let me go get adjusted before my other evaluation just so i can release some of this tension hopefully that'll give me you know that'll make me feel better for my eval so i can do better for my eval hopefully so i'm hoping to do a lot better on tomorrow's eval than i did today because i mean than i did yesterday because that was pretty disappointing i got a 70 percent on that eval you need a 75 percent to meet competency and yeah, I failed it. But I cannot go in no time soon to do remediation. So they're just gonna have to work with my schedule. Like um, they were doing remediation today, but I don't feel well at all. It wouldn't be a good day for me to go in and do remediation. So I didn't go today. Next week I'm supposed to work on Wednesday. They can only do Wednesday. So I'm like, well, it's gonna have to be in two weeks because shit, I gotta work. Right. I got a life too. I can't just rearrange all my plans just because of this now. But that's just upsetting because it's like, girl, I can't be failing because I don't have the time to come in on a Wednesday. I work Wednesdays, so. I just don't feel good. Like, I really need to go to the grocery store. That's not happening today. Um, I was like, well, I'm going outside. I might as well report. Baby, this is about to be very low energy. I'm literally about to go to the chiropractor and go right back home. And it's so crazy because I'm about to pass at least two different chiropractors. I go to the joint chiropractic, which is like a chain. And it's like based on like walk-ins and stuff like that. I'm probably passing two of them at least because this one right by my school right over here. But I don't want to go there. I'm going to see Dr. Boo because I love her and she take care of me. Now, I haven't visited a chiropractor in like a year. I need to get back on a regular routine because I do feel much better when I get adjustments and stuff. I've been cracking my neck so much lately and it's like disgusting. It's like, girl, you really need to stop because I'm gonna hurt myself if I don't. I wanna eat some bad food so bad. I think crumble cookies over here. If crumble is over here, I'm gonna, oh, my nose is itchy. If there is a crumble cookie over here, I'm going to stop and get one cookie because I just checked my crumble cookie app and I'm $2 or two points away from getting $10 off. I just want a cookie. Shit. I wish they had peanut butter, but they don't even have peanut butter this week. So I'll just probably get a plain chocolate chip cookie. I really wish they could cook it extra long because they cook these kind of too soft for my liking. I know that's the last thing I need is a fucking crumble cookie, but that's what I'm going to get. Y'all look at my hair, my little curls. They barely defined. I halfway defined them this morning. I really like my hair and I would love to do my hair more, but I just can't. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I don't have the anything. I just don't have it in me, you know? I mean, like I could, but between school, mm -mm, I just don't. I know y'all probably be like, you are so fucking lazy. Like, girl, do your hair. But it's like, mm-mm. I love the way my hair look when I finger coil it, just do the individual curls. But that takes so long to do, and I just don't have the time. I just don't. This actually is the result of, I tried to do, I was going to start to do a um, finger coil. I was starting to finger coil my hair again. And I was like, this shit finna take too long. So I ended up two strand twists in my hair instead. And I ended up with like 30 twists in my head. No particular order. So they was all just crazy. But I took them down and this is what I got. It was a curly fro. And I just defined it a little bit. But it's like, I don't like the way it looks like this because it's elongated and I don't care about it looking long. Um, I'm more so like definition. It just looked like a long curly or long fro for real right now. And I'd rather it look like more defined curls you know oh my goodness they got so many pumpkins out here is this a church it's a church they have so many pumpkins oh my goodness churches celebrate halloween
it looks like such a beautiful fall day out here the trees are so just changing colors like everything looks pretty i just don't feel good y'all i don't look good uh, let me get off this camera looking like i don't know who i look like right now but it's just not giving so i will talk to y'all later bye <laughs> okay i'm back first of all i went to the chiropractor and i feel great i need to go back and see her more often anyway i just stopped by crumble cookies and got me one cookie i got a chocolate chip one mm, so warm i got a chocolate chip cookie because that's just the vibe that i'm in right now it's so soft i just wish they would cook them longer Mmm. That chocolate and salt combination, it do be hitting. Mmm. It's crispy around the edges. I like that. Hey y'all. I'm just making a mess of my clothes. This is why I don't like wearing my scrubs. But on Thursdays I kind of have to. Because we don't have that much time. We did get out of class a little earlier today. But still it's not that much time like i'm about to go in there in about 10 minutes to start getting ready for clinic i wore my hair finally i finally wore my hair out just in the mood for a little curly afro so that's what i gave today take some medicine real quick i'm so irritated because how i just lose the damn oh there it goes i'm about to say i just bought this little um manicure kit from walgreens earlier so I got this little pouch, it's real cute. I think it's originally like eight dollars, but I had at Walgreens it was two dollars off, so it was six dollars. Five ninety nine to be exact. Love that. I decided to stop at Starbeezy's because I needed a little pick me up. I should have got a small, but it's okay. I ain't had no business at fucking Starbucks today. But I just had to get a matcha. I had coffee earlier, but I did get a shot of espresso in it, y'all. I just need to pick me up for real. I'm gonna try this pumpkin muffin that I shouldn't have gotten. Good morning. It is cold. Oh my goodness. There's frost on my windshield. God dang it. I'm trying to go to work, but my windshield frozen. I am subbing again today. I don't know if that's the best thing that I should be doing, but I'm gonna try it out again today because I need a little bit of money. It's a different office, but it's kind of the same office. Like, I think these are corporate offices. It's Monday, and I wasn't planning on working today. I was probably going to do a little bit of driving, but Friday, this popped up on the app. It was sitting there all day, and they were offering $30 an hour, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I do work Wednesday and Friday this week, too, so I know I'm going to be a little upset come Wednesday. It's just a busy week for me. Working three days, school two days. Um, we only have one eval this week. I don't have any exams, so this should be a fairly easy week to do that. The eval is over like blood pressure, vitals. Got that in the bag. I'm gonna put my scrub cap on when I get there. This is the thing. That's another reason why I don't like taking all that time to do my hair is because when I go to work in class, I put a scrub cap on and it just smashes my hair and it ruins the curls which is why it doesn't last as long but I also don't want all of that stuff just spraying all over my hair either so it's like you got to it's a fucking bug in here y'all something's telling me I need to pull over and get this bug out of my car it's just like a moth or something but why would you be in here bitch that just upset me that's the quickest way to piss me off is for it to be a bug in my motherfucking presence. Oh, that just upset me. And it was a big one. <sighs> You're not going to die. You're not going to die. But at the same time, it's like, will I? Because it's frustrating me. Good thing I got this gum in my mouth because it's keeping me calm right now. <sighs> oh, my goodness. I can't stand a bug, y'all. I can't stand it. It's so fucking cold out here. I understand he trying to stay warm, but this ain't it. This ain't the place for that. I hope that this is a good experience today. If this is a bad experience, I'm not doing it no more. I'm scared to look under this box where I smashed this bug because I know he's sitting there waiting for me. 
and I'm just not ready to deal with that. It's like, girl, you got to come on. So let me just go here, open the door, and try to do this. No, he didn't just disappear. I don't see it. Okay. So this office, they uh, the ship is from eight to five. Um, I wanted to get here early, you know, to get acquainted, but at the same time, for what? They only pay me from eight to five. So maybe I don't want to do that. The best part about being a DA is okay i love lyft but lyft has been up and down so it's not guaranteed like i really don't have a huge goal you know if i can make a hundred dollars i'm cool with that but really i'll be trying to make like 150 a day when i'm be doing lyft but right now lyft is not it's just kind of up in the air as a da i can make at least 200 dollars a day you know for eight hours but that's the thing it's like eight whole hours i just don't want to be here for eight hours so it's nice to be able to just go to one place make your 200 dollars and leave not putting no mileage on my car anything like that not wasting my gas that's the best part about being a da is that you get to make more money in, like in one day to think in a couple years i'm gonna be making like double that you know 400 dollars a day i can't wait I hope that it's a more welcoming environment because I hate going places and it don't be it's like why 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 am I here? You know? So let's go ahead and get up in here. Let me take one of my masks just in case they don't have the mask that I need. 755. I'll see y'all at lunchtime. Bye. Okay, so I'm kind of sitting here doing nothing. So I'm about to write in my journal. Do a quick entry real quick and then I'll wait for my patients to get here. My patients do in like 20 minutes. Hopefully they show up. If not, this is about to be an easy day to make some money. Love that for me. We got a couple fillings. Um, at the end of the day, we have a crown prep and a filling, a couple exams, crown seat. Nothing too crazy on our schedule. So I got this. This is nothing. Think about work you're gonna look like you did it too okay y'all it wasn't as bad as i as the last place okay i can't handle this one but i don't know if tipping is for me pretty much when you become a temp you have to give up control because there is no control there's a lot of uncertainty and you have to be able to go with the flow i'm not really good at that i prefer stability but it's just like, I'm not in that space in my life right now to have stability. So it's like, you're gonna have to let loose and just go with the flow. And that's fucking with my mind, y'all. That's fucking with my mind. It wasn't nearly as bad as the other place. First of all, the office was a lot nicer. The people, they were nicer. You still had your own, there's always that one. You know how that goes. But for the most part, everybody was nice. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. I feel like it's because people sell it like, oh, tipping is the best. Oh, my goodness, it's so good. It's this, is that. Tipping is not that easy. The thing about tipping is you have to have some type of experience to just go with the flow for real. Like, tipping is not easy like people try to make it seem. Because you have to have so, uh, like a nice baseline understanding about dentistry and how to do things, you know? And also know that they don't give you no fucking instruction manual when you walk into these offices they just expect you to just know and it's like bitch how i'm supposed to know i ain't never been before but they be expecting you to know there was a um guy assistant in there and he he said that he told me when i first met him that he flunked out of hygiene school last year so i was like oh okay in my mind i meant he was already in the program but he was like no actually he couldn't even make it through the prereqs and i was like oh that's nothing when i was your age when i was 21 about 22 i dropped out of college too i tried it the first time it didn't work like my mind wasn't there but it took me some time and i finally got back into it like and i'm here and i'm doing this shit so i told him like don't get discouraged it just wasn't the right timing for you you know you can always come back he was like you know what that's good to hear i remember you said that i'm like yeah it just wasn't the right time for you but you can always go back later both the hygienists that i met today both of them became hygienists in their 30s but that's all. I just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know that I did have a good day. Uh, I made all my money. I did not walk out of the ass today. 
Woo -woo. I'm doing better. And now I'm gonna go home, do some practicing. And yeah, oh, another thing. Every hygienist that I talk to tells me how much they hate the damn Gracie instruments. So why do we have to learn Gracie's in school if none of the hygienists uses them? Literally every hygienist is like, oh, I don't even use Gracie's or I use that, but I don't use it the right way. I do this with it instead. And it's like, so why are we spending so much time learning this stuff when we probably not even gonna use it? But I guess it's just to understand the foundation, the basics, and I don't know. But child, all I gotta say is none of the hygienists I met that I know use Gracie's. So yeah. But anyway, talk to you later. Bye.